Welcome to Lori's end. The term galvanized is usually used to mean electro-galvanized or zinc electroplated and is commonly confused with hot dip galvanized. Electro-galvanizing is not the same as hot dip galvanizing. Although they both involve application of zinc to protect steel or iron against corrosion. Can you tell the difference between the two? If you were an engineer and a subcontractor asks you if he can use an electro-galvanized instead of hot dip galvanized steel in your project, would you allow it? Would you allow an electro-galvanized substitute when project specifications call for a hot dip galvanized material? Can they be used interchangeably? In this video, we will discuss the difference between hot dip galvanizing and electro galvanizing. We will compare a hot dip galvanized metal with an electro galvanized metal in terms of processing, appearance, cost, corrosion resistance, and their applications. By the end of this video presentation, we should be able to distinguish between the two processes and their respective products. First, let's talk about the hot dip galvanizing process. Hot dip galvanizing process is more labor intensive compared to electro galvanizing. This process involves the immersion of steel in a bath of hot molten zinc. It fuses zinc with the base metal and creates an iron zinc alloy layer on the steel surface and a pure zinc coating on the outer surface. The coating forms as the material cools down after its withdrawal from the molten bath. The resulting alloy is very hard and resistant to typical abrasions. Electro-galvanizing process, on the other hand, is a form of zinc electroplating, where a thin layer of zinc is electrically and chemically bonded to steel. The process involves immersion of steel in a saline zinc bath and running an electrical current to move electrons from the zinc anode and bond them to the steel cathode. Now, let's compare the two in terms of appearance. Hot dip galvanized products have a dull finish which can be streaky, contain drips, and is typically not applicable in architectural or aesthetic applications. The galvanic thickness can be inconsistent across hot dip galvanized products. Electro galvanized products, on the other hand, are more aesthetic with a clean bright finish. They have uniform zinc coating all throughout. In terms of cost, hot dip galvanizing is more expensive because the process is more labor intensive and the resulting product is more durable. Electro galvanized products are less expensive, making them cost effective for temporary and short term applications. When it comes to durability and corrosion resistance, hot dip galvanized products are way better than electro galvanized products. Hot dip galvanized products offer a longer service life. Their zinc coating is 5 to 10 times thicker. The process of hot dip galvanizing fuses zinc with the base metal and creates an alloy layer that is very hard and resistant to typical abrasions. On the other hand, electro galvanizing only produces a thin coating, which when damaged will leave the base metal without much protection. Electro galvanized products will corrode much faster when exposed to the elements. Hot dip galvanized products are more suitable for applications involving exposure to natural elements or caustic environments, e.g., outdoor. On the other hand, electro galvanized products can be used for applications with limited exposure to harsh or extreme environments, e.g., indoor. Because of their clean bright finish they are more suitable for architectural or aesthetic applications. And because they are cheaper, they can prove to be a cost-effective alternative to hot dip galvanized products for temporary or short-term applications. Now that you have watched this video, imagine that you are an engineer working on a project. A subcontractor wants to use an electro-galvanized material in lieu of a hot dip galvanized one. He told you that electro-galvanized steel is more readily available and is cheaper and could save your project time and money. How would you answer? After watching this video, I am sure you could now answer that question with more confidence. We have now come to the end of this presentation. We do hope you find the content informative and useful. If you like this video, please feel free to like and write your comments down below. If this is your first time to visit our channel, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe now. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell if you'd like to receive notifications whenever we upload more videos. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the day.
Goodbye.